So what we're going to be working on today is this Peterbilt hood. We started sanding this down. Uh, what we have here is a pretty big dent. Uh, I tried hammering this out as much as I could, um, but uh, given the situation, this piece kind of comes out a lot further out than these rivets. And I know it's kind of hard to tell, but those pieces are um, kind of coming out so we're gonna I don't like the way that this is gonna form up so I think and we got a couple tears here on the metal so I don't like uh, the way this is gonna come out honestly I might just um, I might just cut this piece out and that's what we're gonna do I made a line here of where I'm gonna cut and what we're gonna do is sand these rivets down sand the rivets down here and the rivets here, we're gonna cut out this section and we're gonna pretty much replace this little piece of panel. Then we'll wind up welding onto this piece, this is aluminum, and we're gonna make this nice little bend and we're gonna give ourselves uh, something a lot better to work off of. Once we rep remove that panel, we should be able to get this back into shape. Um, let's see if you can see what I'm talking about more about here. You can see how screwed up that panel is from down here. You see how it kind of bulges out. So, that's what we're gonna wind up doing. They use these uh, C6 or Huck lock bolts for for these rivets here. And you can kind of see some more, you know, hole, gaping holes that we're talking about here. Um, you could probably, you might be able to fix this. You know, you probably will be able to fix this with a lot of, a lot more hammering and probably uh, quite a bit of bondo. Um, but like I said, uh, since it's so thin, we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and cut this section out. And so we're gonna go ahead and get grinding down these rivets. Alright, so we're going to be deleting these horns right here. We're going to be removing these and that one and that one. And then uh, we'll be keeping these. Alright, so this is day 1000 of sanding. We're getting it. Mostly got all this done. Pretty much ready for some primer. Um, this we're going to have to redo. Um, I wasn't watching my brother here, he started uh, getting into this fiberglass. This little mask here is made out of fiberglass, this is made out of aluminum, everything else is made out of aluminum. And pretty much got to buff the top. I got to weld these holes back in, as well as the ones down there. And then... Same thing on this side, weld up these holes. That's where the um, old, um, what do you call it? The mounts went for the exhaust. Oh, because we're switching over to Unibuild mounts, they're gonna be a little bit different. I also have to take care of this. We're actually gonna uh, round out these uh, rivets and see if we can weld up these cracks on there and make it look aesthetically uh, pleasing. Um, Luckily, it was only on this side. Uh, got a little bit of work to do as far as like there's some corrosion on the aluminum. This is where the visor went. And we got to probably do some spot putty there. Uh, 
other than that, we got a big uh, patch job to do here. You can see it's all really lumpy. Um, I wind up having to feed into here because it was cracked up pretty bad. This is uh, the driver's door. And you can see those cracks there. That pretty much kind of, this was repaired before. So, I'm gonna fix that. And this top should be good to go. We're also going to um, weld up the holes here. These were where the horns used to go to. So, we're gonna weld up these holes here, close them up, so that we make sure we never have any leaks ever again. Since we're not gonna have horns mounted on the top. For the most part, this guy's done. We spent a good portion of the day uh, sanding the, the top of the fiberglass. And uh, like I said, we're definitely gonna have to order some new handles. Brother might consider ordering new uh, vents there. And we gotta start hitting that on the bottom there. And probably get this uh, actually closed up with some masking tape. Got the man of the hour. Now, what we're getting is a river sphere. We bought this plastic brush and did a pretty good job not uh, cutting into the fiberglass too much. Um, it's better than using these kind of things here. Um, trying to see if I find them. Oh, there they go. So these are like red. This is the most aggressive, I guess, in plastic. And these do a pretty good job with the fiberglass as far as stripping the paint and making it as smooth as possible. Then you got some other ones that are actually rated for different grits. Like this one's rated for 120. Um, another 120 there. Uh, 180 and so on and so forth. Um, so that's what we got going on here all right guys so here we go um back on this we've been um working on here we had a um a little job there to do with the repair um slowly getting there still need a little bit of more um, hammering or whatnot try to use the minimal amount of uh, you know bondo or whatnot on there and pretty much everything else is pretty smooth for the most part uh, we still have to work on that waiting on to get some more tips for the rivet gun so that we can do this these fasteners here are different than the ones here these are actually made out of stainless steel these rivets and because they're made out of stainless steel the um, the rivet gun tip that you use is different than the one on this so we had a way to get those and pretty much we have the sheet of aluminum right there right in front of the truck and that's what we're going to use to uh, cut down and get that piece there uh, you can probably get this um piece right here probably for like i don't know 400 or so 500 but um we're only using half this sheet, so it's easily a quarter of the cost, you know, because that sheet only cost me about 200. And like I said, you can easily probably pay 400 or 500 for this uh, once you include, you know, freight and shipping and whatnot. So that's what we're going to wind up doing, uh, bending that piece then welding it on there. We might add a stiffener on the back side of there so it can help with um, warpage and just like it later down the road but for the most part we got everything off of this uh, hood yeah I know we still have to uh, do the inside also we'll soon be spending a day doing that um, grinding down the inside we're probably gonna paint the inside black and we bought some high-end paint and we don't want to want to make sure we have enough to do the whole truck and I don't want to use it all on the underside of the hood if that makes any sense so I think what we'll wind up doing is doing the cab and sleeper in the hood and then see how much paint we have left if we have enough paint 
Then we'll do the inside of the actual hood and paint it uh, the blue. But if not, like I said, we'll just paint it uh, black just to conserve because that paint was pretty expensive that we wind up using. We're getting there, baby. We're getting there. Putting in some fans in here. Start on this top row. All right, guys. So we got the uh, first layer of um, fiberglass filler on top. We're gonna have to do the. We're gonna have to sand this down one more time, and then do one more coat, sand it, and then she'll be ready. So that'll be the top. And yeah, we gotta go ahead and start drilling the holes for the next side over. This is gonna probably, I didn't really put that much hardener on there, really any at all, uh, because I, it was such a big area to work on. So we're gonna wind up um, letting this cure for at least 24 hours. And then we got some holes to knock out right now. We gotta do some welding here. This piece broke off. So I'm gonna have to cut this piece out and see if I could uh, fill in the, the crack and see if we could try to weld that in without having to modify this panel. Other than that, I'm gonna line these up, other holes up and find any other spots. We were probably gonna fill these in, weld these up, these holes there. Got to get ready to take these other bolts out. And then oh, I got to definitely fill up some of these other holes there. And then we got to do this ring here. All right, guys, so we just finished sanding down first layer. We're going to go ahead and uh, we just wiped this down. We're going to go ahead and um, do the next layer and then sand that down and it'll be the final layer.